Hello everyone, it's Jackie Drake here with my latest tutorial for you. It's something I'm calling a napkin fold pop-out card. Napkin fold from the centre piece that is going to hold everything and a pop-out card because of the butterfly pop-outs. You could of course choose to do any pop-out but that's my butterfly ones so let's see what you need to start with you need a couple of cards or however many you're going to do just ordinary a5 five by seven cards anything you like some plain copier paper not card because it's a bit too thick but copier paper 80 grams or copier paper if it's american um, just ordinary copier paper and some patterned paper if you're going to use a pattern. Now, first off, what I would say is if you are going to use the paper, then I would suggest that you use it obviously you want the right size but you use it you put it on your card adhere it to your card before you do anything because it is much easier to die cut that the shape in the middle on the front after you've adhered it you might have to go through your die cut machine a few times but it is much easier easier rather than trying to match that up with your card shape afterwards. So having covered it, you then would need to cut your shape in the front. Now that could be a circle. If you don't have a die or die cut machine, then you could just draw around something circle or measure a square or anything just to give you that um, window aperture to look at afterwards so first stage is to put your paper on there first then cut your aperture now the next stage that is probably it's not complicated it just seems to be complicated but it isn't complicated so what i'll do is i'll show you how we get to that stage First of all, we need squares. Now, these are three inch squares, just three inch by three inch. You need three or four of them, depending on how thick, how many layers you're going to have here. This has got three, one, two, three, but you might wanna do four. One of my cards I've done four, but three is ample because it just needs that to be able to open with this. But depending on what you're going to use in there, I've used the butterflies, then you might want to use four. So as long as it's square, that's all you actually need to do at this stage. The next stage is you need to go corner to corner and corner to corner that way. So you've just got four sides, corner to corner and corner to corner that way on your three or four squares. Now it's at this stage that you would die cut the edge if you wanted to. I die cut mine to make a nice fancy lacy edge. Um, but you don't have to, if you don't have, again, if you don't have a die cut machine, you can just use it square. It looks just as nice in the square flat edge, but that's just if you want to do it a bit more elaborate. So that's the next stage. Now, at this stage, you've got your die cut and you've got your four sides. Now what I'm gonna, that's your diagonal and your other diagonal. Now what you're gonna do now is you're going to cut up there 
and across to one of the corners. So you're you're sort of cutting one eighth out or one half of one side. So it needs to come up through to the middle, from the middle, any of the middles, but not from not from there to there, up through to there and across down like that. And then when you've done that, you actually glue this piece around like that so you're sort of getting this this shape so you've got three sides to it now because the fourth one has been cut in half and overlapped so that's your center pieces now so the next stage is this one now when you've got them your three pieces like that you are actually going to fold one of them one of those three pieces in half so you're going to get this point to this point and just score it across with your fingers so it's now like that and see so that piece to that piece leaving this point so then you're gonna have your three or four pieces now this one as I said hasn't got the scores on it it doesn't matter it's it's, it's looks just as nice when it all comes together this is your final shape that um, I left one off to show you. These are your shapes. This is your shape with the fold there. And each one gets like that, stuck back to back. So you would glue this side and then this side would go on it. So it's like a half of a star shape upside down and up the right way that's what you've got so this one hasn't been stuck on yet these two have and then this one comes on here so all these pieces are at the bottom that gets stuck on like that and that is your napkin fold piece yeah right so that's what you basically need to put inside your card. So here's your card. And then this with these star shaped pieces go at the bottom. So that goes like that. That one, if it was stuck together, you see? So you've got this blank napkin fold piece stuck to the inside of your card. And then everything then gets stuck to these pieces. Now your next stage is butterflies. You know I'm keen on butterflies, as in lots and lots of people. Just thin strips of acetate. Acetate used from packaging. This actually was from some full facial masks when the COVID was on. They were selling them in B&M for like 99p for three at the end of the COVID, but they make perfect acetate pieces like that. So you just need to stick them. What I will say is I cut a long strip, then I cut my red liner tape and stuck a thin strip all the way across pressed on it so it was really stuck to it and then I using my guillotine I then die cut it quarter of an inch or variable some of them but quarter of an inch um, in principle all the way along and it saves you sticking all those little tiny weeny bits onto it they will automatically be on the top so that's your butterflies or cupcakes or letters or shapes or flowers or leaves or anything will work on this. I just chose to use butterfly because I've got some new butterflies. 
And at the end of the day, you you just put these on here. Let's go back to let's go back to this piece on the plain piece. like this and then you just this is the bottom then you would just stick this at all different angles so there you know that one could be there that one could be there depending on what acetate what um, aperture cut shape you've got um, and this is the one that I shown you initially this is a nice uh, shape this one I I do really like this one it's the octagon shape um, and this is a piece of red tape this is um, just where I then had to use tiny bits of um, red liner tape to stick it to the bottom and you can just sort of looking at it like that you can get a gist of where your next one's gonna go because the card is going to be opening that way I had them all leaning that way and that's the part that you can see from there and it's just really pretty make and this is another one oops that one's come off not quite come off but slipping it's too big for it to fit in an 85 envelope so I need to take that one out um, again just butterflies different front piece Then the third one, I made the backs and just put a butterfly or something on the back of them. That one is just white, so that's just got some butterflies. That one's got some butterflies. And the third and final one has got the shape cut there so I just put a butterfly on there so these are all the four of them I've done a little bit of um, greenery die cut and done it in the white added a sentiment different ones throughout and that's just it hopefully you can see that properly one two three four they make beautiful cards and this one I've done happy birthday, that one happy birthday, and that one. And then this one just for you, so it could be for somebody that's poorly or just for no particular occasion. So that's it until next time. So happy crafting to you all, and I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.